Because we'll be down in a cave where there isn't any light. It'll be dark in the cave. Watch your step and your head and use the handrail. Watch your head, Bob. All right, guys. The tour guide's name is Colton. He should be right outside the store waiting on it. Everybody get off the Okay, we're not going around the corner. He should be around the corner waiting on it. See you, no? Hey guys, good to see you. Hey, hello. What's up, fellas? Right this way. We got rocks to look at. Look at them. Se quedó la señora. So that's a shadow of women. That's the original one. That's right up there. Oh, you can. You can order Starbucks. Chattanooga, rising up from the banks of the Tennessee River and stretching 80 miles southwest into Georgia and Alabama, Lookout Mountain features extensive cave systems, including the Lookout Mountain Cave. Throughout history, the natural opening of the Lookout Mountain Cave on the banks of the Tennessee River allowed easy access for early Native Americans in the region, whose folklore and legends included tales of miles of underground passageways bottomless pits, subterranean rivers, Whoa. underground waterfalls, and lakes. Oh, cool. This same cave was used by both Union and Confederate forces during Civil War battles in the Chattanooga area, perhaps most notably as a temporary hospital. As Chattanooga became a large railroad hub for the South, it became necessary to construct a tunnel through the end of Lookout Mountain to provide rail access from Nashville to Chattanooga. During the construction of this railroad tunnel in 1905, the Lookout Mountain Cave entrance was intersected and sealed off from outside access. Leo Lambert, a young man living in Chattanooga, had played in Lookout Mountain Cave with his friend Jimmy Fuller for years. In 1923, Mr. Lambert began investigating the concept of drilling an elevator shaft into the side of Lookout Mountain in an effort to reach the old Lookout Mountain Cave and potentially reopen it to the public. On November 1st, 1928, the process of drilling the elevator shaft to open the cave was started, a prospect which carried a price tag of $25,000. A total of three crews working eight-hour shifts labored around the clock, garnering five feet of progress for every 24 hours of work. Two months of drilling into solid limestone rock. At the 260-foot level, a gush of air rose up through the shaft as the jackhammer hit a void in the rock. Upon further drilling and inspection, a small opening into a previously unknown chasm was discovered. This opening, measuring two feet high and four feet wide, was immediately explored by Lambert, his friend Jimmy Fuller, and a small crew. They disappeared into the chasm and were gone 17 hours. Upon their return, Lambert excitedly told of the discovery of amazing geological formations and the existence of an enormous waterfall. A few days later, Lambert re-entered this newfound cave with his wife, Ruby, and christened this natural wonder with her name, Ruby Falls. Drilling continued to the 420-foot mark, where the shaft intersected the Lookout Mountain Cave as expected 90 days after drilling began. In total, 15,000 pounds of dynamite was used to loosen 5 million pounds of limestone, which was removed from the shaft one bucket full at a time. That same rock was reclaimed and used to build the cavern castle, as well as develop the cave trails. 
On December 30, 1929, 14 months after drilling began, the Lookout Mountain Cave was open to the public, while construction of the newfound Ruby Falls Cave continued. On June 16, 1930, Ruby Falls Cave was open to the public and quickly grew to overshadow the popularity of the old Lookout Mountain Cave tour. In 1935, tours of the Lookout Mountain Cave were halted because of the enormous popularity of the Ruby Falls Cave and its unusual features, including, of course, the waterfall itself. Since its grand opening, Ruby Falls has hosted millions of people from all corners of the earth. As you journey from this point, you will eventually reach the spectacular 145-foot waterfall at a depth of 1,120 feet underground. This makes Ruby Falls the deepest commercial waterfall in the United States. Ruby Falls is also listed in the National Register of Historic Places because of its economic impact on the neighboring community. As you move through the cave, we ask you to please stay with your guide. Follow the safety instructions you're given and enjoy this natural wonder, Ruby Falls. Wow! Yeah. 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 That's great. That was awesome. Oh man, even better in the video. Look over here. You see? studying formations, but I have never seen anything like this. Stalactites growing from the ceiling are overhead throughout this area, and stalagmites coming up from the ground, as well as columns where the, the two meet and join together. Further ahead we found unusual formations that look like a chandelier, like a totem pole. There's even one that Jimmy said looked like the north end of a southbound donkey. One column looks as if it's made from onyx. We continued onward. And we'll continue onward. Let's continue. You may touch these formations as you pass, but we ask that you not touch any other formations in the cave. Today, there is a state law against writing on, defacing, or breakage of formations in caves. Don't touch any other ones but this one, you understand? This is the only one. So when you see other ones, don't touch them. Or you're gonna, I, I don't think it's just it. It's like whatever this thing is up here, then it kills you. Dije que la toches, la slapen. <laughs> Pero que ya no toques las demás. Se está viniendo la cueva. Tienen un cadáver, güey. Ahí estaban dos bolsas, dos cadáveres. Son los que cuidan el. Mira. ¿El oro?
pobres de los grandototes aquí. Sí. Yo soy feliz. <risa> ¿Cuál es el chicken? Oh, ese.
Esta es la pata del elefante y su cuerpo. Cámara. <risa> <risa> 